Hello there, this is Ashraf from Zenon Studios and today I want us to cover tangency, circles in contact, tangents to circles and uh, I want us to draw this hook. Now as you can see the question tells us to reproduce the drawing and to improve the line quality where necessary. As you can see these are all center lines but they look weird, they look funny, they, so we need to improve those. Okay, perfect. So let's dive in. Um, first things first, I'm going to first draw these center lines, the vertical center lines and the two horizontal center lines. Perfect. So grab your line tool and uh, uh, draw a line, drawing a line that is my line um, but this line needs to be um, a center line we are going to modify that in a few okay so I also need a vertical center line so I'm going to simply grab my line command and draw a vertical center line perfect so um, then I'll need to offset this line by a distance of 102 as shown from our question. So select the line, offset, and uh, you're offsetting it by 102. Perfect. You can also simply copy all, whatever. There are many ways of killing a rat. Now we've found out that these are actually center lines, so we need to modify them. So select these lines and then head over here to the properties panel then um, if I uh, hover over this it will tell me this is my line type so I'm going to click the line type and uh, I'm going to choose center all if you can't see it here then come here to other then say load and then there are a bunch of other lines inside here that you can choose from center center so click the center and uh, it will come over here press ok and uh, so do the same thing again select these lines head of head over here to the line type and uh, click center perfect now I've changed the type of this line to a center line but it's still not showing well uh, so we need to increase the scale so simply type LTS on your keyboard, press enter and it, it's telling us that the line type scale factor is 1. So I'm going to increase it to let's say um, 5, enter. And now you can see that this is coming out visibly well. Perfect. So I'm going to first draw this circle and this circle and I'm also going to draw this circle down here. So this circle has a radius, has a diameter of 16. So grab your circle, diameter. The center point is that and uh, input the radius 16. You get your circle over there. Then there is this one, it has a diameter of 38. Press enter to repeat previous command. Use the same center and the radius is, uh, sorry, diameter is 30 um, D for diameter then input 38 enter perfect then we also need to draw this circle here it has a radius of 19 as you can see from the question come over down here radius of 19 enter and you have it there okay now we need to draw this line this line is tangential to this circle down here and it's also tangential to the line up there now what do I do I'm going to first of all turn on my tangency snap so come over down here to this car snap cursor then the drop down and then turn on this tangent perfect now I'm going to grab my line tool come over to this circle and click in an empty space then bring this line over to this side and uh, as you can see from my screen that is the tangency snap that is the tangency snap uh -huh. 
All right. Um, so I'll simply select this line, grab this node, and then I'll move it until it brings that tangency snap there. Click there. Then uh, sometimes you may need to modify this line down this side. So I'm going to put it in an empty space and then bring it again over here so that it snaps to my tangent. Perfect. Um, so um, I don't need some information here. So I'm going to trim it off. So get the trim tool, hit enter, then trim this away and uh, trim that away. Um, perfect. Our shape is uh, coming out little by little. Then I will need to draw this circle here. As you can see this circle, they are not giving us the radius, but they are telling us that if we divide the distance from this center to this circle here, we can get the center of that and simply add a 35 from here up to this side. We shall get our circumference of this circle. So perfect. So I'm going to divide this distance from here up to here. So I'll use the arc tool to do that. Arc center start end. Um, so this is it. So I'm going to draw an arc. According to AutoCAD, it's showing me that uh, the distance there is 15 in an empty space. Uh, so I'm going to use 15. Enter. Draw the arc. Perfect. Grab the arc tool again. Uh, still, I'm going to use 15 because these arcs have to be the same. So press enter, sorry, press control so that AutoCAD can draw in the counterclockwise. Now these two arcs are not meeting, so I'll need to move this arc. I can simply rotate it. So rotate and my base point is the center of the arc so I can uh, rotate it so that they meet. Perfect. So I'm going to mirror these two um, down. Mirror them down. No. So I'll draw a line. Remember the intersection always snaps as an X. So you until you get an X, that's where you start drawing the line X. If it's snapping triangle, that's a midpoint which we don't want. Okay, now, um, uh, according to our question here, they told us that uh, from this circle here up to this circle here, there is a distance of 35. So I can, uh, I can draw a line from here going this other side of 35 millimeters so that it can guide me. So. 35 perfect and I hit escape so I'm going to grab my circle tool stand at the center here then uh, draw the circle um, this has to be radius so grab the circle tool and look for the end point of the line that you just drew uh, the end point remember snaps as a it snaps as a square so that's my end point click there and uh, perfect there you get your circle now um, uh, um, okay according to my question here there is another circle that is touching this very one but it has a radius of uh, it has a radius of 19. First of all, simply offset this line by a distance of 19, which is the radius of the circle that I'm dealing with. Then after doing that, I simply add this radius 19 and I add it to the radius of this bigger circle so that I can obtain the center of this circle over there. So that means I'll draw an arc from here to touch this guy, but this arc has to have a radius of 38. So draw the arc. 
auto card draws in the counterclockwise way so if you want to draw the clockwise way you hit control perfect so this is the center of uh, my circle so i'll grab the circle tool stand at the center here and uh, draw a circle of radius 19 and it will perfectly touch that circle up so according to my question i can see that this circle that i've just drawn actually has a line that is tangential to it and a circle down here so just like we did in the first instance grab your line tool stand in space and find a tangent to this circle here click it then move this line uh, to there until it gets tangent perfect and i have told you before sometimes it uh, loses the tangency you need to redo it perfect and um, perfect so i'm going to remove some information here that i don't need i don't need that line i don't need this arc and uh, i don't need uh, parts of this circle here so i'll trim get your trim press enter there trim and here trim perfect our shape is coming out slowly by slowly then also i'll need to trim this circle trim and uh, trim uh, perfect there is this section that is staying here delete delete the section okay our shape is coming out slowly by slowly okay then let's continue then we have this part here it's telling us that from this point we need to get the center point which is 22 so that we can draw a knack there so um and the same thing goes for this other point so stand here get your arc tool stand here and uh, draw an arc of 22 so that you can obtain the center of that circle there then um, we can still use an arc. arc so stand here the radius is that and draw an arc just like that do the same thing for here stand here radius is 22 we are getting that from our question don't forget that get your arc tool again stand here radius is there and draw an arc perfect now these two arcs are joined by another arc of radius 3 and we know this is a fillet so i'm going to come over here uh, fillet we have our fillet and uh, i'm going to first of all specify my radius so come to the uh, command line press radius and input a radius of 3 as our question dictates press enter then the first object is this the second object is that and it does it wow perfect um what else can we do here then uh, uh we can change the line weight as you can see um these lines are thicker uh, so we need to make our lines thicker here so select these lines all of these lines select all of these And uh, come over here to line weight and uh, we are going to say 0 0.3 perfect and the line weight changes just as we need it to perfect now we need to um, put some dimensions here and we shall be done so grab your dimension you know that you are dimensioning this you're dimensioning this and uh, that and I need the dimension to stay right there but as you can see I can't see the dimension because it's small I also see that uh, I need to dimension this and this uh, put that there then uh, the other dimensions are a dive so go to annotation drop down come to dimension style 
um, modify modify so change the scale go to fit and change the scale you can also first of all go to primary units precision and change this to zero then the scale here is going to be I'm going to use five let's try five and see close five is still small go back modify I'm going to give this 20 okay close perfect 20 does it for us and there we have it then now uh, we need to show the dimensions of this come over here sorry um, come over here we are dimensioning the diameter so simply select this arc and uh, move it outside just like that then um, also dimensioning this uh, you can press enter to repeat the previous command that's what I'm doing uh, so this is my arc and uh, that is diameter 38 so um, okay then we need to use the radius so radius there is a radius here of 19 do that then uh, there is a radius here of uh, this right here so we are going to first of all leave it there in space we shall modify it later there is a radius here of 22 leaving it in space still then there is a radius here of still 22 still leaving that in space we are going to modify those then there is a radius here of 3 and um, and uh, there is a radius of 19 here um, okay so we need to modify these so that they can show us the center line so select it and uh, hover over the text so that you select this option with text only and uh, once I move the text perfect it, uh, it automatically goes to the center move text I'm putting the text out uh, as you can see now it has gotten to the center but I need this to be R so double click it and simply say R delete the rest perfect I'm going to bring this closer okay so move text along bring it closer there move text along and uh, bring it there close okay perfect the same thing is done for this select it go to the text hover over it so that uh, you get that hover over the node so move text alone and uh, put it somewhere let me put it somewhere here it will automatically um, go to the center this is looking kindly let me put it somewhere there okay so do the same for these the radius 22 um, for purposes of this tutorial I wish to stop here this tutorial is taking a lot of time but uh, thank you for watching and that's our hook that's how we draw circles in contact that's how we draw tangents to circles thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh, see you in our next tutorial i remain ashraf from zenon studios